How was that? Great. <laughs> in the early 2000s, there was a revolution going on in fursuit making. But there was one artist blazing a trail on their own. Carzel wasn't like the other costume makers building brightly colored neon dogs. Instead, they faced obstacles going out on their own to build costumes that looked impossibly real. Realistic fursuits are a style of cosplay to ask what would a fantasy creature really look like? These costumes focus on realism and are jam-packed full of details to help bring their character alive. Carzel faced many challenges to create such realistic costumes. For example, learning to sculpt is hard, but it allows you to build a base to build everything off of. From there, layers of fur are attached and then glued on before everything is airbrushed to give it its final marking. With years of hard work and dedication, Carzel was able to master their setbacks and create some truly wonderful pieces of art. Their studio, Clockwork Creatures, is regarded as one of the best for creating realistic fursuits. They're so successful because of their dedication and their willingness to go out on their own. Their fursuits help define a style while simultaneously pushing the boundaries for realism and costuming. This is how it begins. The birth of fairies. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so weird to see this person here pull their tail out first. Cute. Wow. So can you see? Yep, I can see out the eyes. It's pretty good actually. I can see a lot. Like I have a tiny blind spot, like really small. So where's the air for you to breathe? The mouth and the, the eyes. <laughs> so you feel my mouth. <laughs> yeah, which is taking one. Oh, hang on. I don't think it's like, doesn't matter. Oh, so the tail is you'd wear a belt. Yeah, you wear a belt. Okay. I just didn't wear a pants for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolutely perfect like copy of your character. Yeah. Isn't it? That's just I feel like her style suited. It makes you taller. Oh yeah, she's like really tall. It is kind of hard to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they do it on like hot days. They Ooh. have a real rough one. The it... um, hands are beautiful. Like the claws are pretty good. 
have to go. I'll have to go do a, a buy a brush for it. I don't mm. have a brush. I should go look in the mirror. <laughs> I can hear you heavily breathing in there. So just remember, if you're on fire, stop, drop, and roll. One more time. Say it with me now. Stop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Cat is very cute. I like the cat. Do you like the cat? This is cute. It. Why do you do this? I very angry. You are a greedy person. Because it will kill us. But he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Kuchi 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 kuchi. <笑>看爪爪，来来来来来，给你，一，八，一，八，呀，来来来来来，摸摸你。What's up, babes? We got a quick selfie with everybody. Woo! <laughs> 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 
You love yourself, don't hate others. You do what you want. Cults are kind of crazy, bro. I don't join them. I do whatever the fuck I want. Don't say it, 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 don't say it. wants bamboo oh. here come the airplane oh man <laughs> At first it was, but then I got banned. For age-related reasons, I was 21 at the time, so it didn't really matter. It was an easy fix once TikTok finally responded after two months of ghosting me. Then I got banned the second time. And this was from breaking community guidelines on a video that definitely did not break community guidelines. And they told me they would permanently ban me, and I couldn't fix it no matter how much I tried. They ended up ghosting me. And I tried for weeks, but I just, I couldn't get it back. I completely lost all motivation. And then I posted this video a few weeks later. But then I really started going viral after a couple weeks of posting my April Fool's joke. And a lot of people tried to find me and were really disappointed when they found out I was banned. A lot of people thought that I actually did quit because there was so much misinformation and the video was cropped, so a lot of people just assumed that I quit. I created TikTok in 2019 with the main goal to make people smile. That's all I wanted. At the time I was watching Jacksepticeye, he spread PMA, which was positive mental attitude, and that honestly really inspired me to spread that. I wanted to be someone that people could look up to and feel inspired or just feel at home not necessarily that I wanted to be famous, I just wanted to make people smile and make them happy. Making people happy makes me happy. Making people smile makes me smile. And even though it's taboo to be a 22-year-old furry, it still made me happy. And it made people smile. Even if it was cringy and people were laughing at me, it made people smile and that made me smile. After I quit, people just started spamming me with messages begging me to come back. They were all disappointed, they were saying that I inspired them, and that they were just so upset when I left. I'm a stranger, online, and so many people still reached out to me with encouraging messages asking me to come back. It meant a lot, and at the time, it was really a punch in the gut every single time I saw it. It's honestly a hole in my heart that I just really can't fill. I made so many people upset and disappointed, and that makes me feel upset and disappointed. I read every message you guys send me, and I know you miss me. I miss you guys too. 
all the hateful and unalive messages and comments were really easily drowned out by all the love and the support and the positivity by amazing people. Sorry, part two up now. Go! Oh no! Oh no! Ooh. Rest in peace. Just because there are some people in the world who want me to feel bad about it, doesn't mean I have to. So just remember, if you're on fire, stop, drop, and roll. One more time, say it with me now. Stop. like this so I'm going to be going through it. This is Marina, my Kigu head. You see the blush on her face? That's chalk. And the green on her ears? That's chalk too. Not to mention that the pink on the inside is also chalk. Sealant is used on the chalk areas to make it so it doesn't fade over time. But that doesn't mean I can just throw her in a tub of water and expect everything to be okay. Well, I could do that with her neck piece. However, all of Marina's hair is faux fur, so it can be washed more vigorously. I found this instruction image on Pinterest, and I think it really sums up how you'd go about washing a kigu suit. You go at it gently, only cleaning certain spots when they get dirty, rather than cleaning the entire thing in one go. And if you sweat in these kind of fursuit heads, because the shell is plastic, you can just easily wipe it off. And disinfect it, obviously. You really don't want to be that one furry at the convention who absolutely stinks. <laughs> yes, sir. 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 Oh no, oh no! Ooh. 
Rest in peace. <laughs> the process! <laughs> you know, I might have to do some weird explaining to my neighbors why there are giant dog tracks. Yeah, they're not, they're gonna know we're furries pretty soon. Beans. I just gained a crazy amount of respect for you crazy motherfuckers that wear these fucking things so often. I'm dying. Like, it's so fucking warm. It's cute, though. <laughs> Animals I have yet to see a fursuit of, but I would love to. Number one, a worm. I feel like someone somewhere could pull off a worm. Two, anatomically incorrect bone creature. You know the kind that, like, craft stores made of? Because they don't know that spiders don't have sleeping bones. Love to see a bone spider. Number three, the flat fish. There needs to be more fish in general. But also, this one's really funny, so... Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> activity to do with a friend. Y'all should come over and help. Seriously. Oh, wait. Okay. There's metal. There's metal in Ooh. there. You see it? There it is. There it is, folks. Yeah, guys, but I'm planting this stuff in here, obviously. Here we go. It's glued in there, too. Mm. Well, I already showed how you can see it in the front. Oh, I'm, man. I'm I know, right? Here, I'll help you out there. Here, I'm gonna take my finger away for a second. Yeah, let me... He's already digging into my skin. And let's, uh, let's be tender with this. I mean, not the base. Who fuck cares? And guys, seriously, this is really sharp. Like, this, you can see right here, even in comparison to the scissors, that is ridiculously sharp, and that can seriously injure somebody. So please, this is, this is not even a joke. Like, this is... There we go. Like that, huh? Pause. 
Show you like that, huh? Tails. Show you like that, huh? Flies. Show you like that, I like that. Fuck who talk behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear
bad grades. I was in love with my tutor. See, music really looks like you struggle, man. Most of you like me, I just met. I don't give a fuck who talk behind my back Cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear behind my back cause the bitch knew better than to let me hear
Like para parte 2 